Hi, welcome everybody. This is Jeff Frick and you're watching the Cube. We're in the Palo Alto offices in the heart of Silicon Valley and I'm joined in this segment with Ariana Grada. Welcome. Hi, good to be here. We're pretty excited to announce the final four of Cube Madness. It's been quite a journey. Yes. Uh, we've been out this for a couple of weeks now and just like the, uh, the, the March Madness tournament, which uh, big congratulations go out to EJ Floreal, former uh, football <laughs> player of mine at the University of Kentucky going up against Wisconsin, and then of course the Duke Blue Devils going against yeah. the number seven seed, uh, Michigan State. But we didn't have seeding in Cube Madness, but we do have winners from each of the regions, so we'll, we'll kind of go through each of the, the winners, set up the, the final four, and we'll let the ne right. next chapter of Madness begin. Yeah, the, so the winners are bum, ba, da, da, <laughs> Jim Whitehurst from Red Hat, um, Pam Murphy from Infor, Jesse Proudman from Blue Box Group, and Mike Cordano from HGST. Yeah, so so what do you think? Pretty exciting. And, and each of these each of these contestants had kind of a unique formula for really getting out the vote. So I think we'll we'll kind of step through and talk about each one. And we also have to address, I guess, the bot issue. We we had an issue with some <laughs> bots, um, kind of swamping. Actually, they they took down our website uh, last Friday night. We had to we actually had to turn off all the polling. So. We've, uh, we've instituted some new things, hopefully, <laughs> that will mitigate the bots, but we, we ask that all the techni techies out there, because I know you guys are, are proud of your execs that are in the contest, and you can probably write really sophisticated bots. Please keep the bot to a minimum. Uh, we're in the <laughs> final four. Uh, anyone that has suggestions for better polling software for next year, we're happy to hear. I apologize to everyone who thinks they got kind of wiped out by the bots. Um, <laughs> really, the again, the intention of Cube Madness is really to highlight some of our great guests mm -hmm. and our great interviews that we do every year. Again, over 900 interviews last year to highlight um, th those people and their story and get those interviews back out, and two, to have some fun. And, and I was glad to see in the Twitter sphere, even in some of the heated battles, you know, some of the exchanges between people, both in in the heat of the competition as well as after the results were uh, we're shown we're, we're very good spirited and mm -hmm. good fun so that was good to hear and then as i always tell my kids whenever we're in a tournament situation i've coached a lot of youth sports unfortunately in a tournament only one team goes home with a win everybody else goes home um, with a little bit of a disappointment so hopefully again keep it all in fun that's really what the objective is mm -hmm. and uh and we're to the final chapter so here we're going to go so let's talk about kind of the individual processes first off pam at N4, really just kind of a straight up grassroots, nothing real special, just kind of uh, the tortoise, the, the tortoise that wins the race with kind of just mm -hmm. a slow, meticulous roll. Yeah, so tell me why you think Pam made it to the, the next level um, and Charles Phillips didn't, they're both at N4, and um, what are your predictions on that? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good question. I, I just wonder maybe Maybe uh, Chuck just didn't have the time to really get involved and <laughs> get engaged. I don't know that we saw him really kind of participating. And, and secondly, Pam's got the women in tech angle. She's mm -hmm. been featured in our women in tech. Ironically, the first uh, interview that we had, Pam, uh, was actually at AWS Summit, which we'll be at again next year for our, our, our third year in a row. So I think, I think it's a kind of a combination of that. Again, mm -hmm. didn't, didn't see a huge mass outpouring, didn't see really a crazy... Um, uh, Kind of activity or the bots or anything else, just kind of a kind of a slow roll, and, and here she is. Yeah, I, I agree. I think she had the woman in tech angle really down. She beat Alan Nance in the last round, and he was definitely out there asking for votes. Yep, he's pretty active. So, good job, Pam. Good luck. Good job, Pam. <laughs> so then next up is uh, is Jim Whitehurst from uh, from Red Hat, and Jim, I have to say, in terms of rallying a company has got to win the award. Um, if, if you haven't seen it, it's pretty cute. The, the people at Red Hat put on their Red Hat, they printed out signs for Team mm -hmm. Jim and Jim to the Final Four, and they're, and they're tweeting all these signs and taking pictures all over offices at all mm -hmm. different points of the world, so really a fun campaign. Yeah, there are a few hashtags that you can follow to check out Jim's tactics. Uh, it's Team Jim, hashtag Team Jim, right, and right. hashtag get t Jim to the Final Four. So. Right. And we did get the word from the Red Hat that apparently our voting system doesn't work on Firefox on Fedora. So uh, we'll see if we can address that <laughs> next year. Makes sense coming from the from the Red Hat crew and the Linux crew. Yeah. So now we flip to the other side of the bracket and Jesse Proudman, Blue Box Group. What do mm -hmm. you think? Blue Box Group, they're really great campaigning. He's he's got some fun little um, 
gifts going on and some videos. Amy Her Herms was at posting a picture of um, from, you know, vote for Pedro and switched <laughs> it out for Jesse. So that was pretty funny. And we saw some interesting campaigns with that. Yep. And, and he's coming right off his campaign to be on the board of the OpenStack committee. Mm -hmm. So he made some cool posters for that. And uh, again, great, great time with Jesse. Just happened to interject with, with again, we talked about it before, a really meaningful post about what it means to be a startup entrepreneur and, and, and it's not all fun and games. And, you know, there's a dark side mm -hmm. to it sometimes. And, and I think that uh, post was enjoyed by a lot of people. So that's uh, Jesse, not surprised to see him there. And then on the on the final the final four, the, the fourth is Bike Cardano from HDST. Mm -hmm. And, you know, HDST is not a company that really makes a lot of noise. Um, you know, they're building hard drives, they're in infrastructure, they're part of what makes the cloud the cloud. But the team has really gotten behind this uh, this campaign. And I think what's interesting about them is they took kind of a tangential mm -hmm. uh, promotional approach uh, with CrossFit. Um, and, and the CrossFit uh, exercise craze and really promoting it within the CrossFit community, which is something that's important to Mike. It's important to HGST. And, and again, he, like many of the, uh, the contestants, even you know, personally thanking people uh, for their votes on the Twitter sphere. So you can really kind of see the activity on the Twitter stream. Yeah. And once again, that goes back to engaging with your followers, you know, really um, interacting with your community and putting yourself out there. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so again, so that's, that is the, the final four, Jim and Pam yeah. and Jesse and Mike. So congratulations to the final four, and what are your predictions wow. for uh, the next round? What are my predictions? Uh, you know, <laughs> if I want to go there. I think <laughs> in, in, the, in, the, in the top semifinal, I think, you know, with what Jim has going on uh, at Red Hat and really what, how the team has embraced that, we, if in, in four jumps into, they're a good company as well. We'll see if they can slow that down. I don't know if they'll be able to slow that down. I think Jesse and Mike, that's going to be a bit of a dogfight. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll see who comes out. But again, all great participants. There's really no losers in this contest. And, <laughs> you know, the voting is open. Uh, we'll run the voting um, for the next day and a half. Uh, then it'll close. We'll get the semifinalists. We'll run it to the end of the week. And then on Monday, uh, just like the real final four, we will uh, we'll open up the voting for one day to hit the finals. And, uh, and then all the social media teams can take a break. All right, <laughs> and so the, rest. the winner of Cube Madness will be announced next Wednesday, is that correct? No, next, next, I think, Tuesday? I think Monday, uh, Tuesday, probably Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday. Greg's not here. He's the guy running the show. So, uh, but <laughs> well, we'll you'll open find the out finding. next week. Yeah, keep an eye on the website. <laughs> keep an eye on the Cube. Keep following. Keep having fun. Uh, we've got a couple events too next week that we'll be at um, AWS Summit in San Francisco and an MIT IDE event in London mm -hmm. uh, talking about the next machine age, which is something that you're going to want to see. So stay tuned to theCUBE. Yeah. Jeff Frick, Ariana Gradal at theCUBE, Palo Alto offices. Thanks for watching. Thanks.